Will there ever be another Metallica in the metal world? And no, I am not referring to ringy snare drums, too many oohs, and an overusage of wah pedals. By Metallica, I mean, can a band be as successful as Metallica in the metal world today? I was recently asked this question, and I will admit, initially, I instantly jumped on the no, you can't because no one's actually buying records anymore bandwagon. And after some thought, I don't think that has anything to do with it. Let's talk about Metallica and their success for just a second to get all of this into perspective. I have my trusty iPad here. Let's see. They've had nine studio albums, four live albums, five extended play EPs, uh, 25 music videos, 37 singles. They have won nine Grammys and they have sold 110 million records. Holy shit. That puts them up there with like Iron Maiden and Judas Priest status of success. That's huge and that kind of thing doesn't happen every day. But why not? Let's look at some other artists that are currently worldwide phenomenons. Taylor Swift, Katy Perry, Kanye West. What do these artists have in common? They've crossed over. They released albums that melded different genres of music together successfully and therefore bridging their music into a whole other audience that otherwise would have never listened to them in the first place. Katy Perry started out as just, I kissed a girl and I liked it, but the second she uh, included some dubstep and some hip hop and got Kanye West on one of her records, what happened? Boom, exploded. Now Metallica's case, it also helps that they released what are probably some of the greatest metal albums of all time. Kill em All, Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, Justice for All. And with Metallica fans, the Black Album is where things get a little sticky. Now, if I had to choose my favorite album, I would probably pick Master of and just, I, I can't pick, don't, don't. What the Black Album did for Metallica was bridge that gap between metal and what is essentially can be considered pop elements. They had strings and Unforgiven. They had classical guitars, also an Unforgiven. They had huge melodic hooks, like an Inter Sandman. My mother knows who Metallica is. She has no idea who Bullet for My Valentine, Volby, or Avenged Sevenfold are. If there was one modern band that I think has successfully crossed over and will have, or already has, Metallica level success, I think Korn would qualify as that. Millions and millions of albums sold. Yep. Own their own record label and own all the rights to all their songs and distribute them themselves. Yep. According to a recent article, Metallica are making upwards of five and a half million dollars a show. Link in the description. That is huge and bravo to them for being that successful. So what would it take for a band today to reach that kind of success? Well, I think it would be taking chances. That might not be necessarily the best thing in today's volatile music business. And so maybe it's just better to bridge other types of metal genres into one as opposed to just reaching out of the metal world entirely. I don't know. Either way, I think it's safe to say that we will not see another metal band that has the level of success Metallica has for a very long time. And who knows, maybe Korn will get there eventually, but until then, Metallica are the kings of the metal world, and they have been for over 20 years. They are in that category with Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath. They're up there, whether we like it or not. What do you guys think? What does it take to be as successful as Metallica? And as always, I'm Fluff. Thanks for watching.